hear that. That's your soundtrack right yeah. now. <laughs> Hippolyte, welcome. Hello. Congratulations. Thank you. Tell us what you won. Uh, I've cried a lot of shit, <laughs> <laughs> so I won't be able to, to cry more today, I think. Or well, maybe when I will be alone, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a fantastic day for me. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Yes. Tell us why. Uh, I just received my first prize in 10 years. Uh, yes, very soon, 10 years of uh, filmmaking. So, yeah, it, it's been such a long way, yeah. and to, to finally, it's kind of a recognition of the old work, of the old achievements, yeah. and it's uh, an encouragement to go farther again, so, <sighs> finally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> means a lot to you. Yeah, yeah. Ten years of filmmaking, you say, so what is this ten years? Is this uh, school? Is this uh, a trajectory? Are you, did you, uh, did you go to school to become um, a filmmaker, or I started, how does it? Uh, Four years ago, school. Four um, years. But um, when I, I was uh, 12, I uh, booked a camera, uh, like a very cheap one. Huh. Uh, I was eating rice for a very year to be able to buy this camera. Yeah. And uh, I started to just film in my room, like, okay, how to film a window where is it, when there is sun, how to film a window when there is light by night and everything. And one day you realize that a window is not such different from an actor. Uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> that, that was the day <laughs> yes. that you realized the window was uh, not different from an actor. But so, so yeah, I, I, um, I watched film, but I wasn't able yet to, to, to do my first one. So it was just very like how to film things. Yeah. And then I decided, uh, I think uh, maybe two years ago, to, two years after that, to, to make my first, fi my first film. Yeah. Uh, it was a shitty film, but yeah. uh, what I, Remember is that I never was that proud, and even though, even though if I know I know it was a shitty film, I never had this proudness again in me. Like, uh, and I think it's why we continue to make film after that because we want to feel again this uh, yeah. very feeling of it's, proudness and you're chasing this feeling yeah. you had yeah. with and your first film, even though it was yeah. shitty. You say, yeah, but I, I think I will never feel that way again. Yeah. That's the funny fact. It's uh, we were possessing this very feeling the entire our entire life uh, without being able to get it again. You say that, that means you think or you know you think or you think you know <laughs> that you won't find that feeling again, yeah. but still you make films. Yeah. So how does that work? You're discouraged, but you still go for it. Mm, I think it's part of uh, our uh, very multiple phases of existence. Uh, you know, we, we as a humans are very melted feelings inside, and one of them is bore boringness. Like, yeah. Yeah. Boredom. Um, yeah. yeah, boredom. And I think for over years I made film because I wanted to get out of the boredom. Uh -huh. And then I I realized that I was making film by ego, so that I stopped to do those kind of film. It was fiction uh, film. I really wanted to to make useful film, and it was my first useful film. Uh, let's get a price. This one, <laughs> so, mothers. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, maybe it was a good choice to me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah. It's a good sign, eh? Yeah. You, you're in the right direction. Yeah, now yeah, I hope so. yeah. <laughs> Tell us about mothers. Um, so the 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 Breedbuild Short Film Festival invited you to show mothers to the audience here in Antwerp. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the film. What is it about? Uh, it's a documentary about uh, drag queens, uh, but not really drag queens because the. I, th I think the drag queen is a pretext of the film, but it doesn't talk about drag queens. It talk about love, really, about family, mm -hmm. about saying things to the people you love and how to be accepted as yep. you are, as a person who is or not beloved. It's about coming out oh, the, as yeah. the person that you really are mm. and the yeah. fear of how you are perceived yeah. by the people that think they know who you are. Yeah, how to not deceive people that you love. Yeah. It's very beautiful. I also saw it and I was, I was really deeply moved by it. How did the theme come to you? Um, I was uh, celebrating my, uh, the, the end of my last film uh, and the actors took me to the, this cabaret. And the, for, for the funny fact, uh, that, that last film was totally a mistake. Like, I really wanted to stop doing films after that. Really? Yeah, because I was saying, okay, maybe I missed, missed it all. And I, I went to this cabaret to celebrate this last film, and I've deeply fallen in love with the old universe, because 
of these creatures on stage. And I came back the next day and I didn't left for a very year. I worked there as a security guy. Okay. I still do. All right. Uh, I do also at the bar and stuff. It's yeah. It, it's, and it's, this is in the bar where your film yeah. is filmed. Yeah, yeah. No, so I'm you know these of, uh, people really, really, yeah. really. It's my well. closest friend now. Okay. For real. It's a little family. Yeah. And I, uh, I really shall thank them for yeah. everything over this year. Wow. Yeah, that's really close. Yeah. It's, it really. can't be more personal. No. Although it can get more personal because the, the, your film ends with the line "For my brother." Yeah. Can you um, talk us? Can you talk about this, or the, is this too private? No, no, I, I can talk about this. Um, the, the funny fact is, while I was preparing this movie, uh, my brother did his coming out. Yeah. Uh, so it, it was a very beautiful coincidence. Me doing a people, uh, me doing a film about this situation, and yes. him doing his coming out. And it was a natural choice, finally, to yeah, to give him this film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. really. And I can't wait to. He was the first person to to saw the movie, and I, I wait over an old day to get him call me and tell me what he thought about the film because yeah. he was really the first one to see it. And he he called me very late on the evening, and so uh, he was crying and I was thinking. You're such a bastard. If I have saw your film before, I would have <laughs> done my coming out such a long time Way ago. Way <laughs> earlier, oh, yes. of course. Yeah. So it, it, it was really the good start yeah. for me, like saying um, to, to know that uh, it can help people, actually. Did your brother know that you were working on this film? Yeah. Did it help him to come out? I really don't know. I think he, he needed time. That's yeah. it. I think there is... Um, as much se sexuality and way to s communicate on is sexuality that there is people. So there is different fears. There yeah. is, it can take another life or yeah. it can take never all day, so yeah. yeah. And did you know your brother was gay before he came out? Uh, not really, like I, I wanted him to tell me that. Yeah. Um, that's it. Yeah. But you were surprised? Not really. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. It doesn't we have the chance of being in a very loved family, like yeah. really, really love each other. We have this chance and that's why by being beloved, we have the purpose of helping people who have not this chance yeah. to be the, the unloved. Like for real, we, we really need to help them. So he was lucky in many yeah. ways. Yeah. And so were you. Yeah. Um, did you write a screenplay for this film, a scenario? No. Or no. how did you start making the mm. film then well we, we, we wanted we, we know we wanted to have this discussion in Loge, but we really didn't knew what will it be about yeah we knew that we wanted to film some show that there is at the end mm -hmm. i have already the whole final scene in my head so we went this first day on the lodge with the drag queens and my team mm -hmm. and we've been filming for hours like really six hours i think and we um, we get so much drunk, everyone. Like, me the first. As you do, yeah. normally. First normally. day of filming, you get yeah. drunk. My first water of the day. Mm. Mm. Sure. Mm. And after this whole night, we, nobody knew what shall happen this very night. And then we, at the, at the very end of this night, everybody, I say cut and everybody just woke up his head. Everybody was crying. That's a good start. That's a, you knew that maybe you have something. Yeah. Then we, I think the editing was for very much in this film because it was very long shooting. Mm -hmm. And how, is it, how the editor was able to make it short and make it fluid yeah. over a night because it's not just 20 minutes in the night, it's 20 because of the editing. So. so yeah, the, the film, the first part of, the biggest part of the film is a conversation yeah. between three or four people, three, yeah. three, I think. Four. Four? Yeah. It looks like a, a 15 minute conversation, but it, it you filmed this, was this an actual 20 minute conversation? No, 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 no. it was it's really night the, after night yeah. after night after night. No, no, or just in one night. One night yeah. still, okay. But uh, they did, uh, they did it. They did it so well that you can't even yeah, feel it's, it's the fluent, yeah. it's natural, yeah. it's the, all the reaction shots are there. Yeah. We turn with two cameras, two eight, cameras, uh, yeah, eight microphones, 
because everybody is saying uh, congrats to the, the the image guy, congrats to the sound guy, really, eight fucking mics, <laughs> and the old mix was perfect for you when, when we start to edit with the natural mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really natural. You really you don't hear a cut. You don't no. hear a, no difference between. But also, definitely for the cameraman because. It, everyone is basically turned with their backs to the camera mm -hmm. and you have all these mirror reflections yeah. and still you can follow who they are talking to, yeah. who they are reacting to. It, the editing is really phenomenal, I think. That's what's the, the, the old difficulty of it, how to film that, because you know, they're facing mirrors. And for the little story, everyone is asking me, oh yeah, you did such a good choice by being so close in their face. It was not a choice. I, we just forgot <laughs> to do some to, long to, shots. To, to, to do wide shots. So oh, but it's so everybody is saying, it. yeah, it's oh, it's part of your, your very own art. No, no, we just really forgot. <laughs> so, but still, I think the the sound really helped because he yeah. mixed it like, okay, there is four people here. And we will place the sound where they are and stuff. And uh, really you, f you 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 basically hear the room. Yeah. You don't see the room, but you hear it. I have such a team, really, I love them. It's, it's a little family all day. And also the, the contrast when you then finally go to the stage, yeah. you have this wide, almost religious shot mm -hmm. of all the men, the drag queens at the table. Yeah, it's, it's like liberating. All, all of a sudden, finally, after this almost suffocating emotional <laughs> conversation, you can breathe yeah. and enjoy a drag queen show. The editors. <laughs> It's, yeah, well, it's really well done. Um, yes, we talked about all this. Very good. Um, w so you've been working on, on in cinema or in films for almost 10 years. Mm -hmm. What to you is cinema? That's a weird question. <laughs> I submit cinema. Hmm. I think it's... Um, you know, I, I like to compare cinema and past for you, uh, because people think that past is the the affair of the dead people. No, past is very, our very own business. In your life. Yeah, and no, for for um, for everyone, like we we shall more be careful about the past because every time that's happened something in the past, it happens again in the future. Mm -hmm. I think cinema is uh, a very Good know good way to know the past and to communicate it some ideas or some art or everything mm -hmm. through an art yeah. and through images and sounds and it's important to over I, I, I think we shall more all play films me the first person to 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 get more aware of the situation mm -hmm. it's an exploration. Kind of. Mm, I don't like to be such a philosophical uh, yeah, answer. I think cinema is really. Uh, you, you know, I, I will say, I will quote Truffaut. Okay. Truffaut was saying, uh, photography is the instant take of the present. Cinema is 24 time by seconds, mm -hmm. the very instant take on an image. So yeah. Yeah. it helps. Yeah. That's an interesting way to look at it. I think it was Renoir who said cinema is 24 lies a second. <laughs> and now you say it's 24 truths a yeah. second in the, in the present. Yeah, interesting. Uh, what inspires you then? Uh, you mean in cinema? Yeah, or for you to make films, of course you have your personal atmosphere that mm -hmm. brought the film to you basically, but like outside of that, what, what, how, what inspires you? What gets you inspired to, to, to tell a story? Um, I think two things. Boredom, first, because we all want to get this boredom away. Mm -hmm. And then there is a... I think that a film needs to have the very necessity of being made. If there is not purpose to make those films, mm -hmm. why shall we do that? I think when you want to talk about something, when, to, when you want to create it, have to be a necessity about yeah. to talk about this very subject. A relevance. Yeah. 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 I agree. <laughs> <laughs> um, if someone would give you like, I don't know, an unlimited amount of money and you can make your next film, what would it be? Such a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Again, a shitty film. Not a shitty film. No. No, I, I'm, 
I don't know. I have projects like, um, but if I have an illimited amount of money, I think I will do a film about cabaret with no actors, just real people of cabaret. Okay. Yeah. A documentary, you mean? No, no, no. Ah. Uh, fiction, but with no actors. Just okay. real people yeah. doing their own role and yeah, just with huge choreography and maybe songs and stuff. And yeah. Such a, yeah, a big mess. A big mess. And many alcohol on set. Can't wait for that. <laughs> <laughs> so this selection, what does it mean to you? Of course, after 10 years, you, you, you feel like you finally won yeah. a prize for the right movie. So what, uh, how do you look? Up? It's, yeah, you, you won this like, what, uh, 30 minutes ago. So uh, what is going on in your head now? Really? I've, I think it's a, a big um, kick in my ass. Like, okay, now you are responsible for things. Uh, you have to, mm -hmm. to make it better. You have to, to be able to go farther than that. And I think the real, such as human will live, we will always have the necessity of making film. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I will wait for the next necessity. All right, to come to you I think or to find it, yeah. No, I think, uh, I think we lie by saying there is no necessity yet. I think there is, like just over this year, every necessity that we have. And as a student, it was very difficult for me because um, it's a, so strange to, to be a student nowadays in cinema because there is all these all necessities of making films, climate, gilets jaunes, mm -hmm. racism, everything. And yet we just stay on our chair listening to a teacher. Instead, we shall make those films because there is a necessity of those films. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's it's been a complicated year to be sit on the chair and not acting, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see where you're going. Um, this was in France, where you were a student. No, no, in Belgium, in, in Alsace, Belgium. yeah, in Brussels. How long did you live in France before you came to Belgium? Uh, well, all over my life. So yeah, I think uh, uh, <laughs> 17 years, something like that. Yeah. You grew up in France. Yeah, I grew up in you were I used to be French. You used yeah, to be French. Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. You, you seem happy about that. Yeah, I I'm, I'm very happy for, for two reasons. Like I'm very happy to be Belgian. Really, I very can relate to this culture. Mm -hmm. I think people are really much nicer here, and the cinema, all the the cinema industry is little family, all the. Mm -hmm. And it was difficult to be French in to. To, w when you really have an outside look from this country, we're not a democracy country, we're not this all shitty liberty and stuff we're saying, equality. No. In France, no. <laughs> Such no. No, no, it's. I don't want it to be related to, to that. And I think now, because of this film, it's a very good thing that to be qualified even in French festival as a Belgian director. Mm -hmm. It's a very proudness because. Yeah, I feel really better since I'm Belgian. So. You feel a be you feel like a Belgian director. Yeah, yeah, really, yeah. really, really, yeah. and I don't want to leave. I come to you, and we have to take a pictures on the we big will board. Be sure. We have. <laughs> <laughs> she will. She wants to. Uh, that's okay. Um, so, where? Do you think that 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 is something you will make a film about later? This uh, this 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 identity crisis you probably went through, not mm. wanting to be French anymore, and then finding your place in Belgium. I never mm. heard this story before in my life. Oh, this, really? could, this could be a yeah. film. I, I think. Yeah, maybe, but um, I don't know. Um, it seems uh, too personal to to me to 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 make this. It's it was a necessity for me, but. No, I've solved it, solved it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and I think the the word of bigger purpose that my uh, little life <laughs> and my little problems yeah. of uh, foreigner, French guy. <laughs> maybe <laughs> so you're not the only one experiencing. No, that. no, I, I think not. Um, maybe, but um, right now I um, I think I have other things to fight for, uh, such as uh, such as the LGBT community and yeah. everything. So, yeah. Yeah. You know where to start now. Yeah, very good. Uh, how do you, how do you like the festival? Very much, very much. Uh, I went just here for two days, but I've been very well welcomed by Yilka. Yes, she's a very nice person and 
the old films I was able to see was very beautiful. Mm. So I'm very happy to be there. And it's, it's always good to, to be able to, to make it to go to the festival and to meet people and yeah. to talk about films. And it's a, we shall have more festival over the years. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. The more the better. Yep. Any good advice you can give to people that are like at the verge of starting their film career in schools, sitting on chairs, listening to teachers? Do you, do you want me to look at the camera while I'm... <laughs> Please, if you feel obliged, go for it. Listen to me, you little for, uh, 12 years old guy or women. One day you will do your first film. It will be an absolute mistake and an hour. It will be shitty. But it will, you will never get that proud again. And that's why you will, we, you will want to make films and films and films over the years and you will never stop. So do this fucking film. You will have your moments of joy, your moments of sadness. But at the end, it's the beautifulest life that you could have lived too. And get a cat. Thanks a lot. Good luck with your film Thank and your you. prize. Enjoy your evening. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.